gamer folk, I am Ronald Renanthera Lee. If you don't know me, I am the head coach for UCI Esports. I typically do Overwatch-centered pieces of analysis. What I'll be doing today is using that kind of wealth of knowledge and applying it to our friends and casts here at Squad. Alrighty, the Overwatch noob is here reporting for duty. From listening to what she's saying, I'm trying to keep my expectations tempered. The major things I'll be looking for a beginner on a character like Soldier 76 or honestly any character at all would be some fundamentals such as positioning and ability usage. So if I was Lisa, I'd be playing at like a high ground further back in King's Row, maybe by the clock tower. So she has maximum amount of time before they exit this choke and get onto the point to really poke them down and then hammer in the damage. It's also beneficial because it's safer generally. They can't reach her and she can you know, sit there and pound them out without having to worry about death. But now you see she's standing right here on the point, direct line of sight with them, and they're just running into her. And she has to kind of backpedal here. Well, she's really low and she's already used her health pack as well. And she's even killed herself because the Sigma's projected the shield in front of her and her helix rocket, her right click ability, can hurt herself if it's uh, you know a little too close, which is what we saw. Here she is running straight into the enemy team. Again, not really worried about uh, her life. She, Lisa does not have a sense of self-preservation. I was not in a good spot. See, I did not know that's where they were coming towards. And there's there's no way you're gonna live that. They just have several several strong abilities that will be thrown at you, and you're you're just honestly, it's it's quite suicidal. Oh, she didn't know there's a hole there. I didn't know I could. I'm doing everything wrong that I could possibly do wrong. That just boils down to not knowing the map very well. That comes with experience. Um, evidently, Lisa doesn't play the game very well. She was not aware there was a hole there. I mean, all in all, I don't think it was awful. I think she has a rudimentary idea of what the character is capable of. I would advise Lisa, uh, you should learn what the maps look like. I don't know Emily's skill level. I'm going in totally blind. I don't know what the ranks are or how much they've played. But judging roughly from her level, she's played you know, a little bit more than Lisa. She, she's still rather on the lower end, um, but she should at least understand more than Lisa if we're comparing levels. Uh, if I was Emily, this is good. She's kind of looking for an angle, looking for a flank where she'll be less disturbed. Um, another thing she could have been doing is because I see the enemy has a Sigma here and they have a shield, uh, if she wanted to stay with her own team and focus on breaking that down to kind of break those walls and make them more approachable, that is something she could have also done. But here she is kind of just sitting at the choke, uh, waiting for the tanks to push in. But now that the Sigma is doing that, she can, you know, poke her lively. This is good. They're making the space and she's kind of abusing that. You know, aim isn't something I like to touch on upon too much. It kind of comes again with time and practice, but you know, this, this will suffice. Her target priority is good. She's going for the supports here in this instant, kind of trying to balance maximizing the amount of damage she's doing, but also remaining safe. And I think this has been, you know, totally fine. Get some mercy first. Who's next? A little oh. overly aggressive, but the team is okay. tossing all her healing. They, the Ana gave her an Ana boost to burst, uh, to like, give her a burst of healing and also amplify her damage and even give her damage reduction. So she gets away from being that close this time, but typically should be a little further away. Although uh, Emily won this game and Lisa didn't, um, I don't think she took advantage of, again, taking high grounds and the sprint and the self-healing. She kind of just sat there in cart uh, and shot at people. But you can do that with Bastion and a lot of other heroes that might have been able to abuse that a bit more. All right, Busan, this should be good for a fast round for you to analyze here, Ron. I should say I am a support main. Playing DPS isn't my strength. Here he is on the off angle, so they have to look at both his team on the point, if you're looking here, and him on the high ground, which makes him um, more of a nuisance. I really like the way he's playing here. His Symmetra was a little too close and got punished, so I would make sure um, I'm playing a little bit further back here because I know that the enemy team is going to run in to try and capitalize on the numbers advantage. But they're not really playing too fast. They're, the enemy team is pushing in just slower than they probably should. So he's doing a good job of staying high ground and being annoying. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. He's looking for the off angle here. This is good. That Our allied Zarya set up us with a grab. 
But once he saw the trans come out, I don't think he should have visored. Even if the Zen didn't trans, I probably wouldn't have visored anyway, because those shots were pretty easy to hit. They're very close up. So he could have actually saved his ultimate for this fight, this last fight, and that would have gave him a big edge as they're kind of coming in and they're more likely to be split off. Like right here, he kills the Mercy. Really good Helix Rocket, he managed to burst her down, but he could have also visored her there. The game's pretty much over. The enemy's team is gonna come in one by one, um, you know, stagger in into 1v4 continuously. So at this point, all AJ has to do is kind of play safe, play in the back, and shoot them, break the shields, and he's doing that. Here he is, spamming into the shields. Sigma has no chance, he's gonna get run down by the rest of his team. That's an easy cap. His positioning was better than Emily and Lisa's, um, and he was safer than both of them, that's for sure. Overall, I think AJ did the best of the three, um, but they all have the same problem areas that they can work on. When you compromise positioning for the damage, you'll realize that um, you'll be caught out quite often, people will smell blood in the water, and you'll die a lot like Lisa did. So lesson of today is don't play like Lisa, play more like AJ.